This is an update on the forecast for the total solar eclipse coming up on Monday. But first, Dickey Stevens Park tonight, first pitch at 7.05. The Arkansas Storm Team will be there. We want to meet you. And we have a limited number of these free eclipse glasses, okay? So get these wall supplies last at Dickey Stevens Park. Hopefully we'll have great weather like today on Monday, although I don't think it's going to be as spectacular as this. I don't think it's going to be terrible for the total solar eclipse either. We, there will be more clouds, obviously, than what we have for today. It's beautiful out here right now. All right, so I want to start off this update, this forecast update, with what to expect during the eclipse. This is the way I think the sky is going to look like, especially around central Arkansas, and maybe a little bit better than this across northern Arkansas. Temperatures when we get to the partial eclipse, we start that 75 degrees. But once we reach totality, that solar radiation is blocked out and the temperature drops 67 degrees. And then down to 65 by the time the total eclipse is, uh, is about to finish. And then once we come out of it, it'll pop up to near 80 degrees. Now, cloud cover percentage throughout the day looks pretty good in the morning, but then once we reach about two o'clock in the afternoon, it still stays quite low across northern and central Arkansas. We're talking about 30 to 40% sky coverage. That's partly cloudy skies, basically, uh, for northern and central Arkansas. There should be a very thin layer of high clouds, way up, tens of thousands of feet up into the atmosphere. Now, further across southern and southwestern Arkansas, you see the percentage goes up, that doesn't mean it's going to be completely cloudy. No, there will be plenty of breaks there. It gets even more cloudy the further southwest you go into Texas. But after sunset, the temperatures are going to drop, but the cloud percentage goes up as the moisture strings back up to the north and we're setting the stage for some locally heavy rainfall across Arkansas. But that's not going to happen until Monday night and especially in to Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday with periods of rain and thunderstorms. So to recap, don't forget about tonight. Dickey Stevens Park, go out there and get those free eclipse glasses while they last. Temperatures dropping, that we've been telling you, when the sun is blocked out by the moon, the temperatures are going to drop. And right now, the optimism is paying off. The modeling continues to show that we're going to have breaks in the clouds, central and northern Arkansas especially. When you look at the state as a whole, the state as a whole, I think, is going to be okay. But if you want to find the, the greatest place north of I-40, Generally, along and north of I-40, thin layer of high clouds for some of you, the further south you go, I still think it's going to be good. Hot Springs, Arkadelphia, Texarkana, Dequeen, Mena, those locations, I still think it's going to be pretty good. But you'll notice a few more clouds. The other thing, if they're those puffy cumulus clouds, and I don't think there are going to be many of those, those puffy cumulus clouds will dissipate as we reach totality. So that's the updated forecast. Make sure you have the Arkansas Storm Team app on your phone. We'll be doing numerous updates on that. Make sure your location settings are on. And we're going to be doing numerous updates on that little quick burst of video that we'll be sending out throughout the weekend and especially coming up on Monday. Thank you for trusting the Arkansas Storm Team.